Hey everyone, I'm Joey, and in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing and fully breaking down Masterworks. Masterworks is a company that allows you to invest in world-class art without shelling out millions of dollars. To put it simply, they allow you to buy equity in a piece of art rather than having to buy the entire thing. This allows you to own a little piece of a Picasso, for example, and then when Masterworks resells the art later, you get a share of the potential profits. The concept is very novel and very cool, but we should definitely dig deeper into Masterworks as a company before diving in head first. So, what is Masterworks? In 2020, Masterworks was originally featured in Bloomberg for being a new leader in the democratization movement of finance. At the time, they only had about $36 million in assets under management and about 80,000 users on their platform. Today, Masterworks manages over $500 million and has over 500,000 users on their platform. And they've been featured in the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, Yahoo Finance, Mad Money, and many others. Essentially, Masterworks has grown at a very rapid pace, and here's why. When Masterworks was formed, they created the largest database in the world for tracking artists' appreciation rates. And their team still continually updates and analyzes this database to make sure that they only buy what they deem to be investment grade artwork. Masterworks brought data analytics to the world of art investing and then made it so that the average person can hop in and buy a piece of that artwork. And now they have actually become the largest buyer of artwork in the world. Before now, art investing was strictly for the uber wealthy and the market was very complex and illiquid and hard to get into or understand. But now, just like bonds or gold, art can be added to your portfolio for some extra returns or as a way to diversify from the stock market. In fact, research from Citi shows that art has a near zero correlation with equities, meaning that if the stock market tanks, the art market could soar. And because of this, Citi concluded that art's most attractive quality is its diversification potential. But beyond its role as a diversifier, it can also be a great source of returns as well. As an investment, it's been pretty consistent over time. Contemporary art has actually outperformed the S&P by double between 1995 and 2021. And that's pretty impressive considering the S&P had a record bull market along that time. On average, contemporary art appreciates by about 14% annually. So it makes sense why the uber wealthy have loved investing in art so much historically. Even today, people like Jeff Bezos and Oprah Winfrey have amassed art collections valued in the hundreds of millions of dollars. In fact, Oprah apparently made over $60 million of profit by just flipping one of her paintings. That's pretty insane. But what can we expect from the future? Well, Deloitte estimates that the wealth held in art is going to increase from 1.7 trillion to 2.7 trillion between now and 2026. So these two things together make art something that I definitely want to have a little bit of in my portfolio. It's near zero correlation with equities and its return potential. Alongside bonds and gold, art might just be the perfect hedge. In fact, on the exact same day that Lehman Brothers collapsed in 2008 and the S&P fell 2.5%, the art market actually went on a bull run, according to the Financial Times. And we saw something similar over the last year or so, because when stocks and crypto plunged, the art market has actually hit record highs. And even in past inflationary times similar to today, art has done well. When inflation is over 3%, Contemporary art has appreciated by 23% annually, which is better than the stock market, the real estate market, or gold under those same conditions. It's pretty enticing. And without Masterworks, I wouldn't really be able to invest in it because I don't have hundreds of millions of dollars to throw. So now that I've described why I think art investing is attractive, let's talk more about Masterworks specifically. How does the company work? And what is their platform like? Well, Masterworks has actually grown to the point that just like a lot of institutions often get special deals that aren't available to the public, Masterworks actually gets most of their paintings at a discount to fair market value. And in the case of private sales, they cut out the fees from brokers and middlemen as well. 
And when they purchase these paintings, they aren't actually using your money. They buy the paintings with their own balance sheet capital and then securitize the paintings through the SEC. And then they offer shares in the artwork to investors like you and me. So users are investing in pieces of the painting. Just like how buying a share of Apple is giving you a small piece of ownership in that company, buying a share of a Picasso is giving you a small piece of ownership in that artwork. And you can actually tailor your art portfolio in a way that fits your investing goals. A long established high value artist like Rothko would be like a large cap stock in finance terms. And a smaller value work from a living artist like Cecily Brown would be like aggressive growth. All right, now let's dive into their website and their platform as a whole. What does it look like and how easy is it to use? So here is the offerings page. So here we are. They typically have between three and seven paintings on offer at a time, but they can sell out pretty quickly. Recently, actually, a $7 million Banksy painting sold out in less than three hours. So investors tend to jump in quickly whenever there's an opportunity. I'm just going to scroll real quick up and down the offerings page so you can get an idea of what it looks like. So here you can see the size of the offering, which typically ranges between one and $15 million. And if you want to learn some more about the artist or about the art piece itself, you can click here on the investment thesis. So up here, it has a little bit of a biography, a little information about the artist. And if you scroll down, you can see some metrics about the artist as well. And then it has a bunch of information about the painting itself. And if we back out to the main page, you can also click on the SEC filing as well. This is nice to see and look into so you can do some of your own research. And now one more cool thing about this main page is that if you click similar sales here and then click on the graph, you can actually see a bunch of previous sales of similar paintings over time. And if you scroll back up and click on price database, you can look into a bunch of different artists. For example, let's look into Banksy. Here you can see some background on Banksy as well as some of his metrics. And if you scroll down, you can see some of his artwork as well and then dive into those. Overall, the website has a great feel and I love exploring it. It's very easy to use and information is very easy to find. Now, when you wanna sell on Masterworks, you can realize gains in one of two ways. Either you wait until they sell the painting, which is what they recommend, or if you need liquidity, you can sell your shares to other members on the secondary market. So right here on this page is where you can see the offers that are trending and some price history. Now, since it's peer to peer, there is a bargaining element to it, which kind of keeps things interesting. And as you can see, it's set up like a bulletin board style, first come, first serve kind of thing. In the end, I love the idea of diversifying with some art and Masterworks seems to be a great option to do so. They have brought data analytics into the world of art investing and then made it possible for people like you and me to invest in paintings worth millions of dollars. It's a really great and modern concept and it's a platform that I'm gonna be riding with for a long time and see how it goes. Let me know what you think in the comments below and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I usually review different finance platforms and you can click onto my channel to see what I mean. I bet you'll find something else there that you like. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.